What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are being attacked by a significant Prussian force. Unfortunately, they are attacking us on a bridge, so we can repel them um, back across um, towards Berlin. And this is particularly useful, because if we can destroy these forces in the field, then that potentially gives this force to the north a chance to advance on the city. But without further ado, let's crack on and defeat these advanced elements and they're probably going to advance or retreat back towards the city itself yep thankfully it is a river battle which is going to be pretty awesome but we want to make sure that we position our forces correctly so let's see there's a fort to the north and there's probably going to be well, there's a bridge here you can see where the road crosses the river um okay so there's the ford and there's the bridge. So the bridge is going to be held by three units, two militia and one Bjornborg, well, fin uh, Finska in, the, in Eldat, because for whatever reason the, the AI doesn't really like to attack across the bridges really. Um, let's drop a 12 pounder here. Our sixes are going to advance towards the bridge, along with our howitzer and our main body of troops. Plus our light infantry. Let's put the bulk of our cavalry over here as well. With the unit of lights over onto the right flank. Gemma on the left. And to actually. Well, I better not get screwed over by weird deployments. Whilst muskets are the. So let's. I can't see anyone yet, so let's take two of these infantry units and deploy them up. So I want my six pounders, actually my six pounders might be better off off to the flank, a bit safer, but I try and make sure I've got plenty of, ah there's cavalry up front, okay. get the infantry to run, get my supporting infantry to advance behind the line, fire it will off. My howitzers are probably ready to open up there. I mean actually my six pounders could probably go up here fairly safely but... Twelves are engaging the horse guards but there's no one else really to shoot. Bring my general up as well. Ah, let's just speed up time. So who's that? General Staff? I mean, I might be using Empire Total War Tactics a bit much when it comes to pushing my cap my artillery up so close. Significant cavalry force that's crossing the river though. So I'll get my infantry is probably going to be fairly quickly dumped into square. I put my foot Jaegers here to skirmish with anyone that attempts to try and cross the river. Let's get all my artillery to start opening up on the crossing. My six is just going to sit there and start unloading canister shot on the crossing. I haven't done anything over here because the AI is usually quite slow at doing stuff near the bridges. As soon as we identify their main infantry body. It's the 24th Lightfoot. Fortunately, now they've got the infantry up front, it means that their cavalry is going to have a much more difficult time trying to affect the battle. There we go, so now the 24th Lightfoot are getting hit by my canister shot before they get within musket range. The 
reloading pretty quick. Karras is whipping over their heads. Here comes enemy cavalry, so I want to f redirect my artillery fire onto that cavalry because the infantry itself isn't a isn't a a key target. It's that cavalry. I think I may have deployed a bit too far back from the edge of the line. Okay, there we go. So my eight, the 88th and the 7th Grenadier Regiment have opened fire. Looks like there might be a crossing on the far flank, but that's a, don't, a general staff unit, so that would be a disaster if they try to cross there. Just a second, everyone. Apologies, I had to uh, try and rapidly <laughs> mute the microphone. But yes, the infantry is going to slow down the cavalry that's trying to cross because infant cavalry can't run through infantry as well in Napoleon as they do in Empire. So let's just try and drop, at least getting the 89th into square, let's get you guys into square. The 9th light horse have routed, the 22nd horse guards have also made it across. So this unit can't form square because it keeps getting engaged, but there we go. The infantry's been broken, or the cavalry's been broken, for now. Okay, my six pounders are going to want to start to barrage. Same with my twelves, attacking all the way to the rear. Glorious victories, huh? General it's Staff has crossed the other side of the river. We didn't kill him, but we did make him break. Twenty-four light foot are going to go down pretty rapidly here. You guys are manoeuvring when I don't want you to. So now it's just back to this massive mess back here. Just hit them with round shot. Round shot does plenty of damage. Uh, Cuirassier Regiment, drop you guys into square. But they are most likely going to rout. Because of the fire they'll be experiencing. Yeah, some reinforcements coming in from a long way off. Can't deploy into square until the enemies. Well, because the the enemy cavalry. Oh god! That cavalryman just got blasted off his horse. Okay, now they can form a square. Just in time for another unit of the, of the 29th to come charging in. You see, it is going to be having an effect. Because it prevents us from being able to respond as decisively with musket fire. You guys may actually form back into formation, ready to engage the 14th. Let's keep the 12 pounders and so on that are engaging firing to the rear. It looks like they're going to want to charge us, but if they do decide to bayonet charge us, we will counter charge. Make sure my general is within range. go. It's routed the 14th regiment. So we can just get back to opening fire across the river. 
he goes into square because more cavalry is coming. Such a mess of Prussian troops. Oh god. Such a mess of Prussian troops heading across. We have to blow, blow the bugle to rally as we have to charge in and break these troops. So that's a reserve musketeer unit. They are probably not going to stick with it. There we go. So again, our infantry form up. I'm getting to repel fire. Give all my artillery to the rear targets that are on the land so they don't accidentally hit my guys with friend too much friendly fire. Except for these six pounders. It's the, this unit of Indel to the 82nd are a bit upset. The 89th are having a grand time of it. 54th are coming in. 53rd of still to commit, and you've still got plenty of Prussian troops coming in here, plus whatever comes in from right at the back. Keep the six pounders blasting the most dangerous unit. I'm hoping some missed shots might try and pluck the general staff off of his horse. E men redeploy. Barrage the artillery. Didn't manage to get him into square in time. My general can counter charge though. And now their general is routing, we can then counter charge our own infantry. Good, bring them back. You deploy into square. Their general, sir. That's now one of their generals fight. killed. The 54th have routed. We charge them and they've routed again. Good stuff. So now my men can hold on to a position for now. Slaughter some of the enemy with musket fire before we have to withstand yet another charge. So we're cutting down some of the Prussian fusiliers with canister shot, but the blob has reformed. Let them keep crossing. Twelve pounder to barrage again. Get the howitzers to barrage. This is getting quite important now. That's quite the block of troops heading our way. Twenty seventh horse guards have returned to the combat. Let me focus the canister shot onto the fifty third regiment because they're in the they're still in good strength. The artillery slams home again and again and again. We haven't actually broken many of their infantry units at all. As they march closer and closer though. Our fire should become increasingly effective. That's one. You men engage the 53rd. There you go, they're down to Shaken. The 88th Regiment is slamming home musket shots. Come the Grenadiers, the 14th Grenadiers. 
Lots of routing, general staffs charging in. Now we're doing some damage. There we go, counter charge and we've broken the Prussian advance. Guard Jaeger. It's engaging with our six pounders. I mean, the six pounders reload quite quickly. So, who's coming in first? Light horse, general staff. See lots of cavalry is coming in. So, the sooner we break the main army, the better, because then the Rhine. The troops that come in behind them will be even more strung out. The reserve musketeers are advancing. The Finska will charge them soon, but they're doing a lot of kills. Brunswickers are down, the Guard Jaegers are upset. This other unit of Guard Jaeger are also upset. But it looks like this first Prussian army has been successfully repelled. We've got a good chunk of cavalry coming in. Once we knock back the head of this Russian cot this head of this Prussian column, we can cross the river and take battle take the remaining battle to the enemy. It's just at the moment when they've got the most the most of their infantry on the field is that's when it's we need to be a bit careful. Yeah, there go the guard Jaeger. So many dead men on this glorious field. Delta. Yeah, lots of my front line are very tired. Let's bring up some of our reserve units to take position in the battle line. Get my six pounders to attack ground because now we've now got a lot of cavalry coming in, including general staff. Seventh have come back, the seventh are charging in, fifty sixth are coming back, the fourth are charging in. These are brave souls. New men form square. Yeah, the general staff is shaken. Whoops, steady again. The 89th are in bad spirits, but they'll they'll do. Bring the 89th out of the line. Our men are running, sir. What a pity. I'm sure they'll come back. It's the horse guards coming in. Plus the sixth light horse. Lots of cavalry. And look, almost all of their infantry came back again. It does take a lot, seemingly, to retreat, retreat some of these units. Try to use my general to get the 89th to come back. The 
Resume a ceasefire. I don't really want to use any of my special abilities. I suppose I'll just keep you there just to see if I can bring you back. It's the seventh light horse going down now. This unit of Indelta can be replaced by a unit of light infantry. What if I rally? Because we're in, within range of at least the 91st who were upset. I know what. Let's try run a cavalry in front of them to see if we can slow them down. But you may need to form back up rapidly. My gunners engaged the Guard Jaeger, and yet most of that Prussian army has remained in the field. Once again, ooh, my light infantry, fire at will. There we go, skirmish is in the front rank, ought to do some good. I was hoping my cavalry would slow them down, but I don't think it's going to happen. My gunners have levelled up. You meant fire at will again. The 83rd form square again. Looks like they're the target of the enemy's general staff and cavalry units coming in. In the grand scheme of things, it looks like they will not continue their attack with the same vigour as they previously have done. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Get out of square and form a line. They are wavering, so it might not even be worth charging or counter charging. I want to get them I want them to fire a volley though, just because it'll be nice to see. No, now they presented fired a volley. What happened to you guys? Get the 89th back into the field. Get the 82nd over here as well. That was quite odd. They lost a lot of men. Presumably from a melee charge. So you guys don't fall for the same trick. Count charge them first. Bring in the 82nd and the 89th. Gunners engage the 25th. Yes, pressure. So their cavalry struggling to advance in the face of significant infantry retreat. Use another howitzer barrage. You form the square because also the tenth horse guards are coming right at you. I mean, they should. I mean, those guys should come back because they've not lost a huge amount of men. There they are. More cavalry coming in. They're advancing into my squares, so that's not going to go well for them. Poor cavalryman, being dragged along by his foot. You monsters! Oh, good artillery hit there. Knocked out a couple of cavalrymen with one hit. You men get out of square. Form line once more. Because the bulk of the Prussian army, well, the first army, is destroyed. 
Um, we do have more troops coming in. But I'm probably going to hunker down and let my guys recover some of their stamina. It's a 39th Regiment and a 37th Regiment. Regiment of horses on the way. Let's try to target some of my artillery. I mean, this battlefield would absolutely stink. All of these dead Prussians in the field. Brave, but foolish. So here come the Brunswickers themselves. Although they have lost many men. Cavalry still trying to charge. Oh, but they're hitting my lines and getting cut down by volley fire. Gunners hit the 57th. Yep, they didn't stick around for very long. Nor will the 57th. They are wavering. Okay, our ammunition state is generally bad, so you may pull out. As well as you. So you men withdraw, you men withdraw. Yeah, I'll actually retreat, we'll get you guys away from the, the battlefield first. But yes, we have a cavalry unit plus general staff, still more cavalry. God, it's all cavalry coming in. Very well, let's speed up time a little bit. For 12 pound I can pick on the cavalry that's trying to cross. My six pounders attack the 53rd. The same with my howitzers. Fundamentally, I want my guys to recover because they've been... Oh, you guys don't even have fire at will on. Okay, so let's withdraw these two units. Now you guys can withdraw. We want them to advance, because right now it's currently a one-on-one. -on -one. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. Ah, they broke trying to run away. Nice. Got the next mass of cavalry charging in, and it's their first in- Ah, oh, I thought it was their in first infantry unit coming in. Nope, Mo Cavalry. The Ninth Horse Guards coming in next over the, the field of complete slaughter. Okay, let's keep my six opening up on the field in the middle of all these troops. They're charging our lines head on, like the brave soldiers they are. Drop a couple of units into square. And that will be the end for the ninth Horse Guards. Put 
Shield guards make ready and fire. Very well. Is there speed up time? Because, yeah, like I said, right now I really just want my guys to recover their stamina. Because lots of my guys are tired. And it's in my interest just to give them a bit of a break. Obviously, first I have another general staff unit, which I have no use for. Artillery. I mean, where's this? What are you guys doing? Could send my lifeguards up, because everyone else's fire it will off. Yeah, I'll take cavalry. So my lifeguards up as a bit of a trap, if you like. Because if they want to push up and take my my take out oh if they want to try and do any damage to me they have to advance into my line because I've got two units of cavalry to bolster my force not necessarily what I want especially when units like the 91st have such poor ammunition so much so you guys may also withdraw Let's cross the open field. When we do that, we'll want to cross the... Ah, okay, right. Let's make sure my... Pot fire. Someone has a motorbike. push you guys up. I mean, to be honest, that is also a cavalry job. Horse guards. Horse guards. Artillery. General's bodyguard. Infantry. I mean, to be honest, part of me does think I'd be just a bit mad to leave this position, really. Let's get my artillery to begin bombarding the field. form a temporary square, although it looks like they still counted as charging. Lost quite a few troops there. So that's the 1st Regiment broken. The 11th Light Horse are also here. They're the chaps in the brown tunics. I think we can't really do much more than just take the hits now. Can my 12s engage? 20th? No, they're out of range. There's two cavalry units routed. Well, they're, they're coming back again. Make sure my artillery is not. I mean, you guys may now break, which would be reasonable. Where's my general? He's back here, isn't he? Get him back to the front. I mean, to be honest, I've got so much cavalry I should advance onto the field. 
My lifeguard have taken a quite a hammering because they keep shifting their square around. But the second regiment's wavering and the eighth light horse is wavering as well. I mean, part of me wonders if I want quite so much cavalry, but there we go, that's what we got. They can't make up their mind if they want to route or not, so let's just speed up time to make up so they can make a decision. Yeah, you guys want to get out of the way. For my cavalry to begin crossing. Let's try to run my foot guards. I mean, that might be a bit of a disaster because they're going to be wavering and upset because they're tired, but let's stack all my cavalry up one after another. Now we send our legions across. Ceasefire all of our guns and the 26th Horse Guards. Keep walking until the last moment until they, till they start galloping. So let's charge the ninth horse guards. I mean, they're shaken, they're exhausted. My guys are confident, and they're already winded. The ninth, the second, uh, the second regiment's also coming in. Okay, right. Let's get my cavalry across the river. My cavalry, my infantry is all is in better shape than it was. My artillery can all limber up. My infantry on this flank can now begin to advance. My cavalry on the right flank can stay where it is. Otherwise that will just mess around with my army's ability to cross the river. It's a lot of cavalry. Great column of Swedish horsemen. All on their way. So we've got the 8th light horse that's there, general staff. So once the cavalry's across, then the infantry can go. I might, I might actually just make sure you guys get out of the way. All of this cavalry form a screen over which, in front of which, my infantry can join. Although I've not. Oh no, I have selected all my infantry, I just don't have very much of it. Apologies everyone, I went to mute my microphone and then the cable fell out, so I had to quickly pause the recording. But, in general... Wait, hold on. Okay, right, my controls were funky then. Charge my light horse into the 2nd Regiment of Horse, back them up with the 17th Horse Guards, the 26th Horse Guards can advance. Mostly artillery and cavalry that's moved up, although we do currently have, we lack a certain amount of visibility on what's going on. Infantry, cavalry that's not currently involved just across the bridge. I 
Fourth Grenadiers, Eighth Grenadiers, Seventh Lightfoot. Actually, my Twelves might be okay, but my Howitzers... First of all, my infantry formations that are crossing in a very funky way. This cavalry is powerful against infantry, but against all infantry, it can be a bit problematic. So let's scoot a couple of units wide. We are walking into position, not running, which is good. Get my 12s to bombard the 8th Lightfoot because they're currently in square, although they are now hidden. So this small detachment is capable enough to do quite a lot of damage to the Prussians. Ideally, my infantry line will form up fairly quickly. Although my six is might actually deploy, stay deployed this side of the river and fire across into the enemy formations. So yeah, you are a 12 pounder artillery unit. You're aware that bad things are going to be happening in this part of the map. Grenadiers are running, so charge them with the 17th horse guards because they're not going to be able to withstand our charge in time. Get my general up here quickly. I mean, I say they're not going to withstand our charge. They are currently withstanding our charge. Granted, they are grenadiers, though. Firing into the rear of their comrades. I didn't have to pop that rally. As I was popping it, they were going from red to amber. Keep the cavalry advancing. Keep the horse guards attacking them. Our men are running, sir. Oh, that's bad luck. Get back, my general. That's a regiment of militia, though. You should be okay engaging them. Plan to fire across the river has kind of gone kaput. So they've knocked out a militia unit. Keep withdrawing. The artillery looks like it's gone hidden. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Keep my cavalry agile. There's the enemy guns. Charge my cavalry into the light foot. Stragoon unit, get over here. So these are light infantry.
And you've got to charge that unit of militia, otherwise they're going to eat you alive. Get this unit of Infinska troops to charge the artillery. While my infantry continues to advance and my cavalry is making a better ac approach across the river. Withdraw the cavalry. Close range volley, saw off those grenadiers. Sir, your general has been killed. This is a black day. What killed him? Oh well. I mean, that's going to be bad news for them. Yeah, they both routed immediately, but that's okay. Oh, they light horse and light horse. Yeah, these things happen. Plenty more cavalry where they came from. I bet it was that artillery, those gunners that got my general. In which case then? If you're a general in my army, or if you're not a general and you're his staff, you're incredibly uncomfortable with being a member of his staff. Because uh, when your general no longer exists, you're a, f you're a free unit. Charge in, put my infantry... Get my Finska troops to charge in against the 8th light foot. Get my militia to advance it towards the enemy. General staff, charge the artillery. Light cavalry advance. Looks like the enemy's fresh out of reinforcements. The Finska troops charge the light foot with the enemy. You men all engage the grenadiers. Oh, okay, so it is like a proper little bug. New men knock out their separate gun units. There we go, the light foot are broken. My light horse charge into their cavalry. Counter charge, counter charge, counter charge. Oh. My foot Jaeger will make you pay for that. The new men charge up into the rear of the 33rd Regiment of Foot. They're likely to have their morale plummet through the floor when they get hit in the rear. Which it did. Charge the general staff. Massacre as many Prussians as we can get our hands on. Oh good, the general staff came back. That is useful though, because it means it gives us a little bit more time to kill Prussians. Ideally we kill the general, but I don't think that's going to happen. Is he going to go down? He's gone. We have killed their general. Hey, we did now get their general. Nice. But there we go. So a bit of a messy counter charge across the river, but I think it was worth doing just to try and speed things along a little bit. Although we are about forty odd minutes into the episode. Yeah, so I lost my general. We killed five thousand one hundred ninety five Prussians for loss of only nine hundred brave Swedes. So back to the capital you go, Prussian forces. We need a new general for the army in the south. They may well take up. Ooh. Uh, you men can withdraw. They may try and force passage through to the south, but it looks like that's not going to happen. They're going to abandon 
Prague and go for Olenwoods, which is good because it means that they'll go after Austrian territory, not our own. They're reinforcing Berlin. But by the looks of it, they're going to give us free reign to continue our attack. Yeah, that army that's trying to run around Finland through Russia to join one of my armies is quite uh, optimistic, to say the least. Plenty of Russian armies in the field, though. They will be something to be dealt with in the future. The Ottomans are gaining strength. They've raided in the pastures and withdrawn. Peter Mendelssohn. So, Mr. Langre, you men can position to the east. Oh no, you're required. I forgot about that. Because uh, Schwerin is a... Uh, or was a uh, Prussian territory. You're no longer replenishing, which is unfortunate. Although you don't need to replenish. You men are all very, very weak. So I think the strategic thing to do... First of all, is create a gen recruit a general from a brave light dragoon unit. So we'll get Germund Lundberg. And Mr. Odegaard is going to advance and attack. Well, actually, they... No, they have fortifications. I mean, to be honest, most of them are... Most of their troops are just cavalry. So what we're going to do, we're going to send you to siege. Uh, do we attack? No, we've only, got, we've only really got one field artillery piece. Begin to siege them. Mr. Lundberg, cover this bridge. You men are holding. Could probably take Prague, though, in this instance. With, although you... Okay, right. So what could what would be good is for you to take Prague. The Mr. Darlin can head west. Well, actually, you can just head south and hit Mr. Menga. Be withdrawn. Wipe them out. Get you men into our territory. Good, because it meant we didn't have to um, do much fidgeting about with troops. Just check our uh, recruitment and stuff first to get you men across to Sweden. You are now at full strength, so let's get you. Again, we don't have to necessarily worry about getting troops into field into the field as quickly as they possibly can. Four slots. So let's get. Let's just get some. How it's a two twelves and a six for you, and that blocks up Stockholm's recruitment capacity good, but I do want to probably take Mr. Sedink, Kurt von Stedink. Oh, can you not attack? Well, you men can break off the siege, and then you men can attack the remaining Prussian forces and capture the city of Prague. And that'll be two uh, full armies to the south in Germany that now belong to uh, which are in friendly territory and can be replenished and are also pretty well positioned to continue their advance eastward. Militia in Delta, Militia in Delta, Militia in Delta. Front line. The Finns on the left. The Guards on the right. Twelve pounder up here on the high ground. Horse artillery that might be useful. How it says that definitely will be useful. So this army is a green army. Hasn't done much fighting or any fighting really. So any reinforcements coming in from directly behind them, which is perfect. March up our battle line. Dispatch the cavalry forward. So this cavalry is going to be slightly hamstrung by the 
town. So one howitzer on the left, one howitzer on the right. It means they're commanded by a captain of the 12th Horse Guards Prussian Dragoons. It's probably fast forward time a little bit. We haven't got much visibility on what's going on because we don't have our cavalry into the best position yet, but we do. We have spotted an, a howitzer unit in the town. So when horse guards can advance towards it. Main question is where are where is the bulk of their troops? Where are you? Very well, my fins can become my reserve. Horse guards attack the artillery there. Get you guys up onto this high ground. Are you going to do anything to help save your comrades? I mean, it looks like this artillery is kind of. Hello! Some troops! Yeah, there we go. There goes the artillery. Okay, it looks like battle is going to be joined. Get my horse artillery up into the line. Push my cavalry up. Make my flank run. My fins, as I said, are going to be holding in reserve. Although, to be honest, probably going to want to advance forward anyway. To try and shut the flank down. In terms of a local height advantage, there isn't really one now. These are only local partisans, so let's get my cavalry up front. Again, my militia can engage the enemy. Horse guards, light horse, regiment of horse, backing up a significant amount of just partisans. I mean, my and Delta are going to form square soon, but I want to get a volley off and form square. And then this and Delta unit form square. Horse guards attack their horse guards. Light infantry hold. Infantry advance. Finish troops cease fire. So there goes one unit of horse guards, and the 26th horse guards charging in, as is their general, which is not going, it's not going well. Advance at my Finnish troops quickly. No, advance at my flank. Sorry, my Finnish troops. Ah, uh, nuts. The cavalry came back, so my infantry's going to break. General is under attack. Eh, he kind of is, but... So if I run away... Does that buy me enough space... ...to drop an emergency square? No, sadly not. Although it does here. The horse guards are wavering. I mean, most most of these partisans will most assuredly break. So 
incorporate my fins into the new battle line. Okay, bring you guys back. Keep mopping up those partisan just to make sure they do route, then charge the 28th so I can pivot my line like so. There we go. Lots of routes. Finnish troops fire at will. Horse guards attack the Jaeger. How much I haven't done anything because I haven't unlimited them. Push them up further to the front line. These partisans won't be run for very long. Then who's back here? Militia, Bavarian Light Infantry, General Staff, Reserve Musketeers, 21st Lightfoot, Saxon Schutzen, who got hit by something. Must have been my 12s plinking at range. So this wing can push past the current combat ready to form a new line. You may tighten up this crossfire a little bit more. New men can also push up probably a bit too aggressively. Bring my cavalry into the mix because there's a couple of units here that are a bit exposed. And my 12s to focus on the, the their 12th regiment of foot. Push the cavalry up. Get my infantry line to run. My light horse go after the artillery. My horse guards go after the general. My light horse go after that unit of partisans that's come back. My horse guards recover. The enemy infantry are gone, but they're not likely we have killed their gone general, forever. Sir. Now they must break. We killed the enemy general, so let's pull back. My lights go after the guns, but my heavies can withdraw. There goes the 10th Regiment of Militia, so combine the cavalry on my right flank together. This infantry form a line in the face of... Actually, you guys can just... charge the Militia. Get some good kills and prevent them from coming back. Again, my line is advancing too quickly for my howitzers just have too much of an impact. Bring on my general again. Is this unit in Delta? Advance. Like so. Keep pushing up my infantry. My infantry can keep chasing theirs down. It's just mainly to stop them from recovering and coming back. My grenadiers should do a real number on the 11th light foot. Send my cavalry in to attack the 12th regiment. Lots of enemy retreats in the centre. Our men are running, sir! Uh, friendly fire? Because I've lost a gun there. I'm not quite sure how. Surround and destroy the 12th Regiment. Send the cavalry in on this flank because it's weak. The 29th Regiment are already looking for an excuse to rout, so let's give them one.
So we've gone. The general's gone. Spin and attack the 29th to help out my light cavalry, because they are only light. There's our cavalry unit that's come back from the rear. Actually, get my light cavalry to go. No, actually, they are, they are horse guard units. Cavalry in the mix. To be honest, let's charge the 11th Regiment with that cavalry. New men advance to fire into the 21st Lightfoot as my heavy cavalry go in. Attack their infantry. We've killed another one of their commanders. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Damn right. My light horse get in there as well. All of you men fall upon the 21st light foot with the bayonet. Except for you, you men charge into the, the 11th. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Broke them with the bayonet charge. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I do not care about fatigue. We need victory. Which we've gotten. Excellent. So Prague is ours. Our armies on the front can begin to replenish. It's peacefully occupied. We don't need the money. We may as well make them as happy as possible. So you men can't go too far north, but you can go a bit north. This is our allies down here. Yeah, we're repairing their government building. Mr. Bankston, actually, let's get you over here as well. Because you may need, maybe needed to push against Olmutz, which is good. Because at least it's drawing Prussian forces away than elsewhere on the continent. Well, we got to do this. Got to knock out these British swines. So let's advance on to Cardiff. We've been intercepted, which might be a river battle, because they've intercepted us right on there. Hmm, either way though. Edward Augustus, Elgar Gallatin, Peregrine Wilmot, William Beresford, John Hope, and Job Croft. Plus a whole bunch of cavalry. I'll go through the rosters next time. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some real damage here, guys. Let's take Cardiff. Or get well, fight the battle before Cardiff, and then we'll take the city. But thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.